since changing the name of the Eclectic Americana Friday morning drive time radio show on January 20th, 1989 to the Bushwhackers Breakfast Club, the DJs in the collective have strived to entertain and inform our listeners. Airing from 6 to 9 a.m. Pacific at KZSE 881 FM in Santa Cruz, California, the Bushwhackers usually have two interviews a week, each airing for about half an hour. We're not afraid to ask questions or admit that we don't know something, and we don't mind taking deep dives or following attention as we get into how sausage is made in local, county, or state politics, or learning about things going on in our community, or discussions with artists. Our interviews are not scripted and are produced by myself, Dangerous Dan Orange. Good morning, morning, KZSC. KZSC. You You are are on the air. air. Good morning. Good morning. morning. Is this Aaron Jones, a singer it's, and guitarist for the old Blind Dogs? It most certainly is, yes. Scotland Calling. Fantastic. We're happy it's to Scotland have you. Calling. We're so happy to have you, Aaron. Uh, where are you calling us from? Um, I'm currently up in Sebastopol, uh, wow. California. Sebastopol, oh. California. Fantastic. And you'll be you'll be coming to Santa Cruz later today, I imagine, for your show tonight yeah. at the Kaumba mm-hmm. Jazz Center. That show is at 7.30 p.m. Um, you can go to CelticSociety.org, CelticSociety.org uh, for tickets to buy them in advance. Um, but Aaron, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, could you Uh-oh. introduce us to the old blind dogs? What kind of music do you guys play and how long have you been doing it? So the Old Blind Dogs is um, a very well-established band in Scotland. We've been formed in 1992 in Aberdeenshire, which is in the northwest of Scotland. Uh, and we came out to the States quite early in our uh, uh, careers. Uh, 94 was the first trip out. Uh, and, of course, we made a beeline for California first. Why wouldn't we? Um, <laughs> of course. And, uh, we've, we've been coming back for years. Our, our fiddle player, in fact, is, uh, is married to girl from Marin County, so and we've been coming here for years, and it's California in particular feels like home from home, but the music we play is, is kind of uplifting, Celtic music, uh, we're kind of ambassadors for Scotland if you like, so we're very proud of our tradition, we have bagpipes and fiddles and ha- lots of happy tunes, and then lots of um, sto- interesting stories uh, for, for the songs, and obviously we have a very long and dark history in Scotland, so it was just songs of battles and songs of unrequited love and songs of uh, victories and all kinds of things like that. So it's, it's a real um, representative kind of mix of, of Scottish traditional music. Um, so, so pretty much 50-50 songs and then sort of big rousing sets of tunes with Highland pipes and things like that. So yeah, lots of fun. Terrific. Now, I, I imagine that Scottish traditional, that, that, that Scottish traditional folk music isn't just this one like universal uh, catch-all term for all the music that happens in in, in Scotland, uh, especially the traditional music. I I, I noticed uh, on the Celtic Society's website uh, they mentioned that specifically the old blind dogs plays tunes from the northeast of Scotland uh, and brings those to an international stage. Could you talk a little bit about how uh, like what is your music informed by the region that you and your band members come from? Uh, is there a particular like style of traditional Scottish folk music that the old blind dogs uh, play? Yeah, well, uh, originally when the band formed, the band uh, were all from the northeast of Scotland. Um, over the years, members have come and gone, as normally happens with traditional music. People have families and things like that. So actually the band is is a little more representative um, of the whole of Scotland. Now, I, I happen to live in the south of Scotland, and I actually have an Irish passport. So there's a little... Um, a little bit of Irish Celtic music mixed in there too, but but yeah, the, the, the early days of the band was predominantly northeast, and there's a very rich tradition in the northeast of Scotland of what they call bothy ballads, which were unaccompanied songs that would tell stories. It was almost like pre newspaper, pre internet. Um, a lot, lots of the, the the big issues and the stories would be put into songs, and that was how they were retained and remembered amongst the communities. But um, as the band has, has gone on, then uh, the our percussionist, for example, is from the city of Edinburgh, uh, and they have their own uh, unique music there. It's a very a very regional thing. Even even in a country as small as Scotland, there are very regional styles that, that vary. There's wild piping from the west coast of Scotland and a song tradition from the northeast and a um, you know, a fiddle tradition from the borders of Scotland. So uh, over the years, as the band has kind of changed slightly, and um, we've become more representative, perhaps, of the, of the whole of the country. 
Um, but our roots originally were in the northeast, and we do still kind of retain a, a good chunk of the stuff that we, we do is from there. But it's it's incredibly varied for such a small country, and um, there really are different things. And of course, um, as in order to keep traditional music alive and engage young people, the band has always kind of embraced crossover with you know different rhythms and. Uh, the band at one point had a bass player in, in it, um, although we're now predominantly still acoustic instruments. So, you know, it, it's quite a mix of things. There's a, it's, it's very danceable music. It's kind of based in um, that tradition and um, that, that music was celebrated through dance and through singing. So the concert will give people an opportunity to get up and do a jig if they wish, but also to, to sing along with us on some of the songs, which is always good fun. Fantastic. So I've, I, I'll definitely have some questions about that, about about uh, traditional music's, uh, especially traditional folk music's uh, fealty to the past mm-hmm. and whether uh, that is is in any way informed by the fact that we, we don't we don't live in in a time when that older music was uh, is quite as prevalent, uh, at least in kind of popular mainstream culture. But we'll get to that. I think, uh, Aaron, sure. let's 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 take a spin. Let's spin a song. Uh, by the old blind dogs, just to give our listeners a sense of what they're bringing to the table. I know you mentioned uh, potentially playing a song off of your album, Knucklehead Circus. I have that pulled up. We've also got uh, a promotional copy of the album Five. Um, oh, okay. Which uh, we could play a song off of that if you would like. I've got that pulled up. W- w- what are you yeah. thinking? Um, well, I mean, let's start with something from the latest album, Knucklehead Circus. That's always a good place to start. Let's do um, it. What song are you thinking? Um, well, I think if, in terms of a song, let's go for the song Harry Brewer. Uh, it, it's a great story, and it, it, it relates to um, a, a young man being taken away to war, which, of course, there's an incredible number of traditions. Um, but also, it's, it's a very positive message of, um, you know, uh, a lot of the songs are, that, you know, even though they may be in, in reality about, about dark subjects um, that our, our country has been through, there's always a positivity there, so that's that's a good one and a good opportunity to to sing along. Fantastic! So we're talking to Aaron Jones from the Old Blind Dogs. They're a traditional Scottish folk band playing at the Kaumbu Jazz Center tonight at seven thirty. Go to CelticSociety.org for tickets. Aaron, hang with us. Uh, we're going to take a listen to the song, and uh, we will resume talking in just a moment. So Harry that's- Brewer by the Old Blind Dogs off of Knucklehead Circus. It was Kingstown in nineteen sixteen. You enlisted to fight for the king. You all sailed away on a Morning in May, and that was the last you were seen. For they threw you into battle, like dogs on Salonica shore. Where at the Turks hands with their rattling guns made you march through the battery's roar. Where are you now, Harry Brewer? You're lying in some dirty hole. With the sun beating down on the old battleground May God give rest to your soul There are officers safe in the barracks And medics installed by the beds While the poor fools of war get cut down by the scar And the blood flows from their heads Still they gave you a fine decoration for serving the cause of their nation And all that you cost was a wee silver cross And your name on a stone by the station Where are you now, Harry Brewer? You're lying in some dirty hole With some beating down on the old battleground May God give rest to your soul
back home where your family were grieving. There were others out fighting for freedom on the post office steps with their heads held erect. They went down for a cause they believed in. They'd not die for the few that accused them. They'd not fight for the crew that abused them. But they hold their ground for a land of their own. And nobody's going to refuse them. Where are you now, Harry Brewer? You're lying in some dirty hole. With the sun beating down on the old battleground. May God give rest to your soul. So here's to you now, Harry Brewer. I'm not saying you could have known better. There were thousands like you who sailed over the brew and came back in a government letter. There are hundreds who beat on their drums and hundreds who carry their guns. But if you must die at all, sure it's better to fall for the rights you hand down to your sons. Where are you now, Harry Brewer? You're lying in some dirty hole With the sun beating down on the old battleground May God give rest to your soul Where are you now, Harry Brewer? You're lying in some dirty hole With the sun beating down on the old battleground May God give rest to your soul Old Blind Dogs with Harry Brewer off of Knucklehead Circus. Aaron Jones, are you still with us? I am indeed, yes. Fantastic. Aaron Jones is the singer, guitar player, and also sittern player, which mm. we'll learn what instrument that is in just a moment, because I have, I, 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 um, <laughs> apparently, I don't know enough about traditional Scottish folk music to know that. Uh, Aaron Jones plays with the Old Blind Dogs, and they'll be playing tonight at the Coomwood Jazz Center right here in downtown Santa Cruz. Um, the show's at 7.30. You can uh, find tickets at thecelticsociety.org. And also... And if you would like, you can donate or give money to the station to keep us living and growing and breathing and thriving here um, and help future DJs along the way. And you can go to kzsc.fm slash give like Lee did. Oh, Thank like you Lee. so much, Lee. Thank you, Lee. And Lee donated, donated $20. Thank and, you so much. Uh, Wasteland, Will, and Roger, and, <laughs> and, and, and all the lovely and folks. And every, everyone that has donated up to this point, we appreciate you so much, and we appreciate everything that you can contribute to the station here. Mm-hmm. Aaron, thanks for sticking with us. Uh, I wanted no to problem. ask, so within the com- the traditional music community, uh, and you can you can speak to Scotland or more broadly as as, as you would like, I'm curious as to whether there's a mindset of we need to stay true to the way that music was played in these traditional styles and not incorporate any modern musical sensibilities, any kind of trademarks of of modern musical, like a, a mo- modern musical genre. So, for instance, like a beat maybe that, that has more of a modern vibe. I, are, do most traditional musicians say no, you know, no to that? We have to keep it pure. We have to keep it the way that it was played. Um, sure. Or are most tr- traditional musicians like, hey, you know what? It's music. It's 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 liquid. We'll, we'll play with it. Sure. No, I, I, I think that was the, the way of thinking for a long time. What, what happened was that, that the traditional music was suppressed 
because it was seen as, as by and large, uh, music of the working class people in, in Scotland and Ireland particularly. Uh, uh, it, um, it was it was kind of oppressed a little bit. And what happened was it, it was pushed underground. Um, and so in the 60s and 70s in Scotland and Ireland, the people that played the music were were basically responsible for keeping that music alive. And what mm. they did was, was perform what, what would be referred to as the pure drop, which was to keep the, 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 the music, as you say, very um, original and authentic. Mm. What was great was that there was a, a revival in the traditional music then and a great belief in both the countries that it was important to maintain their traditional music. Um, and suddenly there was a, a, a huge uh, revival and lots and lots of people started to play it and enjoy it and come out to concerts. Um, and what that meant that was by the 70s and 80s, it was quite clear that the music was under no threat of disappearing, that it was in safe hands, that there were plenty of young people engaged with the music. And that was the point when people did start to mix things up. And actually the dogs would be, in those early 90s, would have been considered quite avant-garde because the, the drummer that they had at the time was playing you know, congas and things like that. And, and the whole point was to to mix it up and see where we could go with it and also to try to engage other young people that perhaps wouldn't have considered coming to a, a traditional Celtic show uh, to come out. And so now um, what's happening in Ireland and Scotland and actually everywhere, there's some great um, young Celtic musicians in the, in the US um, doing the same thing is, is real crossover with other genres of music. And I, th I think that at one point there, were, there was a reluctance because people were afraid that it would dilute it and it would change. But I think what what people thought of, of con as traditional music 100 years ago is probably very different from, from what it was 200 years ago. And, and that was simply logistics. That was, that was a case of um, the stuff was never written down. It was passed on by ear. Mm. And, and by definition, then, when you do that, you always make a little mistake or you pass on a note wrong and the music would always mutate and change <laughs> because, it was, because it was never actually written down. And it's so, a musical game a of lot, telephone, you could say. Yeah, sure, sure. And, and lots of young musicians now recognize it because that's how the music changed and adapted just through the practicalities of passing it on to people, that it's actually okay to... to to try it with other things and, and, and keep it modern, keep it fresh and keep it engaging people. Because at the end of the day, ultimately, most young musicians understand the importance of maintaining the old music, but, but they do it in a sensitive way. So it's not a complete shift away from traditional music. It's just mixing it up a little, trying to keep it fresh and trying to do something new with it. And so there's lots of great young bands in Scotland and in Ireland doing that. Uh, and uh, traditional music at home has never been in, in ruder health than it ever has been. The, the concerts are well attended and the audiences are really uh, um, varied in their age. You know, it goes from kids right through to grandparents that come out to, to these events because there's a little something for everybody. And so that's what we try to do is is make sure that, that, that while there's a, a very great nod to the old traditional music, but there's something there for everybody and that, that even young people can come out and have a dance and enjoy themselves and feel like it's relevant to them. Mm. Um, so that, it's great. It's good fun. It's yeah. Two, two, two things I want to say to that. Harry Brewer, you know, filled with themes that are, are, are still extremely resonant today. And, and the same the same goes for many traditional folk songs that I've heard. You know, it, it's yeah. a different era that it's speaking to, but it's the same problem. It's it, it's the same. It's, this, it's the same problems. It's the same strifes uh, that are yeah. being discussed and that are being reflected upon uh, that we still reflect upon today. And I also have a copy of, a, of, of Old Blind Dogs Live. Um, which uh, this was recorded, oh my goodness, I believe in the 90s, between 1992 and 1998 at the very least. Yeah. So this is yeah, when yeah. Ian Benzi and Davey Katanach were with the band. Uh, they sim they've yeah. since left. Um, but the, the back of the CD reads, uh, The Old Blind Dogs featuring Ian Benzi and David Katanach introduced the world to a new sound in traditional Scottish, Scottish music. Some have called it, quote, sexy folk music. <laughs> <laughs> Which is interesting. It, it, it's, well, yeah, yeah it, it's it, and it, it, it seems to involve the groove, right? It seems to involve just a, a few details that that change the uh, the the, uh, the the music. Uh, Aaron, I'd love if you could chat a little bit about how you came to the old blind dogs. Um, well, I had uh, my uh, background, as I said, was was Irish, and I used to tour with a band from Belfast um, in the nineties called Crave Rua. 
And actually, when we used to come out to the States to perform, we would cross paths with the boys. So we always kind of uh, would meet up. And, and actually, big festivals and things were the opportunity for musicians who normally would tour independently and um, of each other would, would get the chance to hook up, play some tunes, you know, have a listen to each other and see what everybody else was doing. And so it was actually at Sebastopol Folk Festival, which is where I am right now, that um, I first um, had the chance to hang out with the boys. And, and it's, it, it's a relatively small world. There aren't huge numbers of us performing at home. Um, so we all kind of know each other. So we, we, we would get on, we would play tunes. And then when the inevitable um, lineup change happened with Old Blind Dogs and the, 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 the current guy that was there moved on, um, I had worked independently with a couple of Old Blind Dogs on other projects at home. And they just gave me a call and said, "Look, would you would you be interested in coming to to join the band?" And of course, I jumped at the chance because I've, I've known the, the guys for ages. I knew they were they were good guys. And I've been there over twenty years now, so it's uh, it's it's been a, a lot of fun, a, a great journey. And and they did, we we get on great. And I think that's really important when you're in a band is is that um, you know we're, we're out on the road together for a long time, uh, and we we you know we're we're a good team. With everybody kind of does different roles when we're out on the road and um, it's it's a good bunch of guys so it's a, it's been a, a pleasure and I'm you know I'm hoping we can do another 20 and, and keep it going you know it's been great fantastic so uh, Aaron I'm gonna see if we can slide in one more old blind dogs dog song before we uh, we start we stop chatting today um, okay. I so I once again I have the the copy of five so is this is is this an, an upcoming album or is this uh let's see five is Oh, it actually has Ian Benzie and Davy Cutton yeah, on it. So, is it absolutely. is it an older album? Yeah, well, it's it, it's an older album for sure. Um, the album, the band have fourteen albums, so we have mm. a good a good range of stuff oh, wow. over the years. Um, so, it, we we've uh, we've not been perhaps as productive as some bands just because we're we're busy out on the road. But we have fourteen official releases, and then some of the record companies we work for have have put out compilations and things like that. But um, but yeah, no, it's it's. It's considered a, a classic. The, but the band had, were at that point had included a saxophonist, a really great saxophonist from Scotland called Fraser Fifield, who his roots are in pipe music, but he had shifted across to saxophone. And so that's a classic example of the band really starting to mix things up and, and do things a little differently. Um, and so, yeah, that, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, a classic Dogs album, the, an album that I would have listened to prior to my joining the band. Um, so. Fantastic. So, you know what? I, I'm thinking let's listen to another off of Knucklehead Circus because I feel as though that gives uh, our listeners a better impression of what they'll get at the Kaumba Jazz Center at 730 later today. Again, okay. CelticSociety.org for tickets. Um, so I was actually thinking because of time, uh, let's go with Here We Go Again because that's a bit of a shorter one, if that's all right sure. with you, Aaron. Absolutely. No problem. Fantastic. So hang with us. We'll be right back. Uh, no here's, problem. Here is Here We Go Again by the old blind dogs oh boy and if you are just tuning in we're here with ian jones from the old blind dogs you're here listening to bushwhackers breakfast club on kzsc santa cruz i'm chaos i'm calamity kyle and we're and joined by aaron jones donate to kzsc.fm slash give and get lots of goodies and check it out to support community radio this is old blind dogs here we go again is it going? Oh, it's not. Oh, man. Okay. Hold on. Minor technical difficulties <laughs> here. All right. Everybody hang tight. Well, um, we go. if you love listening to community radio and we are live. And, you know, we make mistakes live, too. And <laughs> if you love listening to mistakes live, you can... <laughs> You can donate to have mistakes continue to happen live All right, thanks, guys. on kzsc.fm. Okay, okay. okay. so yeah, you've, you've covered me. Appreciate <laughs> it. All right. Old Blind Dogs with Here We Go Again. This tells the story time and time again How the rich men steal the toil of working men in their hands with a never tightening grip Lead us on a dance and give us all the slip Here we go again History repeating struggle carries on No end to sight to see Here we go again Sad and tune of chance to change the band And call our own tune for the band Time has come to change the 
band so old Same song o'er and o'er, let's change this tune of old People walk the streets, their future's still unknown It's hard to dance with shackles to things that we don't know Here we go again, history repeating Struggle carries on, oh and the sight to see Here we go again, to a saddened tune of chance Let's change the band and call a roar tune for the dance Steal the toil of working men They hold us in their hands with an ever-tightening grip Lead us on a dance and give us all the slip Here we go again, history repeating Struggle carries on, no end in sight to see Here we go again, sad and tune of chance Let's change the band and call our own tune Here we go again, history repeating Struggle carries on, no end in sight to see Here we go Here we go again by the old blind dogs. Aaron, are you still with us? Yes, absolutely. Tremendous. The old blind dogs are playing at the Kaumbwa Jazz Center at 7.30 p.m. tonight, Friday, May 3rd. For tickets, CelticSociety.org. Aaron, in the, in the final moments that we have with you, we have about 30 seconds. Could you tell us about what to expect at the show tonight? Um, uh, opportunities to dance, uplifting soaring tunes, um, uh, uh, transportation to Scotland uh, and uh, a good chance to have a, a good sing uh, and a smile and, and a little escape um, just uh, for a couple of hours with us. Um, it should be a lot of fun. We always have a great night in Coomber. It's a lovely uh, sound system in there and uh, lots of familiar faces at the shows. So it'd be lovely to see a few extra faces down there, a few new people uh, to come down and, and join us and have some fun. Thank you so much for joining us today. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. so much. It's been great me. chatting with you. I wish we could have had longer, honestly. Yes. I, it's interesting to dig into this stuff. Uh, break a leg tonight, and uh, yeah, you. best of luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks so much. Thanks for having me. Take care. You've been listening to a podcast from an interview on the Bushwhackers Breakfast Club on KZSC 88.1 FM in Santa Cruz, California. This interview has been produced by myself, Dangerous Dan Orange. KZSC is a student-run college and community non-commercial educational radio station broadcasting from the UC Santa Cruz campus. You can stream KZSC online at kzsc.org. Thanks for listening.